Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to get this gorgeous fall inspired red smoky eye. In this video, I show you two lip options, both this bold lip that I'm wearing right now and a more nude neutral lip. I am definitely in the mood for fall and fall makeup trends, so I just could not resist myself. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you would like to see how to get this vampy look, then just keep watching. Okay, so as you can see, I have one eye done, and I'm going to start off by using my Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer. And I'm just going to put this all over because since we are working with some darker colors, I want to make sure that I have a really good base that will cover up all my veins and keep the color on all day long. Now I'm just going to set that with some face powder just to make sure that it's not tacky because we want to be able to easily blend all of the shades on top of this. So I'm just going to add a light coat of powder. Now for this look, I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. And my first shade that I'm going to be using is Burkina, which is just this nice brown right here. And I'm going to be using that in the transition shade. I'm just going to take it on a fluffy brush and run that all through my transition area and crease. Make sure you really bring it into that inner corner because with a look like this we want to make sure that everything gets blended out seamlessly. Okay, now that we have a good layer of that, I'm going to dip into the shade Zulu which is this brown with more of a terracotta undertone. And I'm going to take that on a more precise blending brush and run this into my crease. This is really going to help blend out that deep red shade that we put on the lid. So this will be a good middle shade to blend out the transition and the lid shade. So now the shadows should look something like this. We just have that nice warm brown through the crease. Next I'm going to be moving on to my lid shade. And to really deepen the red that we're going to be putting on top, I'm going to start off with the shade Fulani. This is just a deeper brown. And like I said, it'll really intensify that red shade. I'm just going to take this on a flat shader brush and apply this all over the lid from inner corner to outer corner. Now I'm going to take that same flat brush and dip into Ada, which is the beautiful red shade in the palette. And I'm just going to apply this everywhere that we put Fulani, so from the inner to outer corner of our eyelid. Now I'm just going to dip into Fulani again, that darker brown. And I'm going to put this on my outer corner just to add some definition. Now as you can see I have quite a bit of fallout and I'm just going to take a baby wipe and wipe away all that fallout and also sharpen up this edge. Now you could definitely leave the look like this and have no eyeliner whatsoever or do a black wing, but today what I'm going to do is take the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade High Drama and I'm going to apply this as a winged eyeliner. Okay, now that the winged eyeliner is done, I'm just going to go ahead and apply some fake eyelashes. The ones I'm using are the Cara Eyelashes number 805. I got these off Shop Mise for $1, and I really like them so far. This is my second time wearing them, so I definitely think that they are worth the dollar. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply these off camera, and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I have my face done, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my lower lash line. I'm going to start out by taking Burkina, which is just that lighter brown that we put into our crease. And I'm going to run this along my lower lash line on just a fluffy brush. Okay. 
Then I'm just going to take a flat definer brush and dip into the shade Ada, which is just the red shade that we used on our lid. And I'm going to pack this right along my lash line. And to blend that out a little bit, I'm going to go in with my same blending brush from earlier. And I'm going to take the shade Zulu just to buff out that red shade into the more brown shade. As you can see, that just really helps to blend those together. Now, I already highlighted my face and I used the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. So I'm just going to take this and put it on my brow bone. I think it looks really nice when you use the same highlighter on your face as well as your eyes. And to highlight my inner corner, I'm going to be taking the shade Casablanca from the Masquerade palette. It is just a great bronzy shade and I think it'll tie in really nicely with the gold highlight. And that is the completed eye look. Now we will move on to lips. Okay, so for my more neutral lip option, I'm going to be showing you the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in the shade Bare It All. This is just a great warm nude, and I love the formula of these lipsticks. They are matte, but they are very comfortable and creamy. So as you can see, this is just a great nude shade. It really ties into the warmer shades on our eyes, but it is not too dramatic, so you're not feeling overbearing if you don't want a super bold lip. But I, however, want to amp up this look, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade High Drama. This is the shade that we used as eyeliner, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this, and we will see what it looks like. So I'm first going to line my lips with the Jordana Easy Liner in Cabernet. Okay, here is what high drama looks like alone, and since that is just a little bit more purple than I had anticipated, I'm going to go ahead with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, and I'm just going to apply this over top. This is in the shade Voyager. This will just make it a little bit more red rather than purple, although this is a beautiful color. Okay guys, so that wraps up this look. This is what it looks like with the mix of Max High Drama and Maybelline Voyager. I think that these two together makes a beautiful fall shade. So I really hope you enjoyed this look. It is definitely something for fall coming up. I am so excited for the fall trends if you couldn't tell already. If you like this video or would like to see more fall tutorials, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to make sure that you stay in the loop. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.